What's going on everybody, a Respawn Gentleman here. So today I'm going to show you all about character creation in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Let's get right to it. So whenever you start a new game and get through the initial cutscene, that's when you get to start creating your character. And so we have the choose your class option. Uh, for this one, it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you choose to do. Um, you can choose whatever class. Um, for this one, I'm just going to choose Graveborn because now here's a lot of different options. I'm going to actually include this one, the slider overdrive, because I want to show everything you can possibly do just make your character look absolutely ridiculous so this basically lets you kind of do more things than you would normally do let's go to body and personality so the things you can choose in here there's this one and that one i love the names of the body types it's absolutely hilarious so that one obviously is the male character and this one is the <laughs> female character so um, you can choose whatever size you want. So you can make them small. Uh, you can see here the bar's a little bit bigger, so you can make them super tall, which <laughs> I think is kind of funny personally. You just have a super tall character. So we're going to do that. We're going to have super tall and head size. Um, see, I can make a super tiny head. I could make it a super giant head. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that looks ridiculous. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this character look absolutely insane. Um, because we want it to look crazy. I want to show you all the options you can do. So there's a whole bunch of different voices you can do. I think we're going to go with this one and we're going to make it as high pitch as possible. Who that sounds like. Yep. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, you can choose your pronouns. Um, I'm just going to leave it at they, them. I don't really care for that one. So let's go into the facial features. Let's see what all we can do. That's a very large head. <laughs> Okay, so here's all the different things you can do here. Um, <laughs> this character looks ridiculous. Uh, I guess we'll go with refined on this one. Doesn't really matter. Skin color. There's not really any sliders here, so you can just choose. Um, let's choose one at random here. Let's go with red. I don't know. Red seems kind of cool. So hair and gear. So the hair is the same for both male and female characters. You it doesn't really matter. We're going to go with, uh, let's see, something crazy here. <laughs> you can turn your character into Super Saiyan. Um, let's go, I guess, I guess we'll do the cat ears because, you know, I guess why not, you know, have something look a little ridiculous and let's, let's give this lady a, a beard, you know, let's have her be a bearded lady and we're going to do this one. Right here, fully strapped. For the hair color, here's all the different options you can see here. There's there's quite a bit on here. Um, so you can choose whichever one you want. I think uh, they don't have any wacky colors, at least right now. That may be something you can unlock later, but right now it's kind of these basic colors. So I'm going to go with a Warlocks, just this bright red color. Uh, and I'm going to turn the ear symmetry off so that way you can actually adjust both ears. So here's the ear shape. You may not be able to see it because it's hidden behind the hair. And you kind of see that here with this particular thing. So um, let's just choose oval. Actually, no, you know what? Let's choose long. There's going to be super long ears. And let's make this ear as big as possible. So it looks absolutely ridiculous. And we'll do the same thing with the other one. <laughs> so now <laughs> the character has... I can't do bad ears and cat ears at the same time. <laughs> okay, so nose shape. Um, let's see. There's so much things you can do here. All sorts of different noses. Let's find the biggest nose we can find. Here we go. Large. Now we're going to make this thing absolutely massive. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm sorry. Um, let's make it as you know let's see if we go as high as possible nah i don't like light let's do low as possible you change the nose height super super low nose uh we'll turn mouth symmetry off let's give <laughs> you can't even see the lips behind the nose um i can't really see which one of the biggest ones are so i'm gonna go with full i guess uh, upper lip size let's make that as big as possible i'm just making this character look absolutely ridiculous lower lip size you be able to see it as well doesn't this character look fantastic i mean it's absolutely great 
mouth height. Let's make it lower so we can actually see them. <laughs> they look like they look like a duck. I was not trying to make a duck, but all right. So we'll turn eye symmetry off so you can change each size of the eye and stuff like that. For the eyebrows, let's go with uh go with bushy. Bushy eyebrows. No, let's not do pushy. Let's do no eyebrows. I think that's that's better. Eyelashes. Uh, let's super long eyelashes. The eye shape. Let's do. I think smooth is fine. So these are a lot of cool options. I think. Uh, I think the feline kind of goes with the cat ears. Let's use that one eye color. Um, I personally, I really like the void sight or the gray. But you can choose whatever color you want. I think I'm actually going to go for this particular one. I'm going to go with green eyes. Uh, for the left eye size, we're going to make this thing absolutely huge. And then the height is going to be up as high as it can go. And then we will... And uh, we'll kind of leave the eye spacing alone. Make the angle... <laughs> down this way. Make them look kind of like a lizard. The right eye size, we're going to make it as small as we can possibly get it. <laughs> the right eye height is we're going to make this as low as we can get it. Uh, the spacing, let's go out as far as we can go, right there. Then the angle, we're going to go the opposite direction, have it turn the other way. This is... Oh my... <laughs> Okay, that's that. These are things you can do in character creation. All right, so face decoration. Um, you have all these different scars you can do, but you can't really see them super well. I think, honestly, probably this one seems to be the best. It looks absolutely terrifying, so I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, now we're not gonna flip the scar, we'll leave that alone. The tattoo, you're not gonna be able to see the tattoo very well, so I'm not gonna. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna do this one. I think having a full face tattoo. And uh, let's change the color of it. Let's make it, uh, let's see here. Now, some of these colors you do like unlock throughout the game. Some of them are built in. So I'm gonna do, uh, no, we'll just leave it the way it is. I think that's fine with the, the nether tide shadow. Eyeliner. Uh, you can't really see it with the way I have it built up. So I'm not gonna do anything there. So you can change that. You can change the eyeliner color. It's the same colors as the uh, tattoo colors as well. You know, eyeshadow, which again, you're not really going to be able to see on this character. Um, there's more eyeshadow color. You can add blush. You can add blush color, lipstick, which maybe. Here we go. Main event. That's what we're doing. And then lipstick color. Let's do. No, we'll keep it in the nether tide shadow. I think that's fine. So, like, there's tons of different options you can do. So, next, we'll do the armor decoration. <laughs> it still looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, you can do anything you want. I'm going to use um, this volcanic vestments. This one, I think, is actually unlocked through the game. Um, I have played a little bit, so it did unlock some things. And I'm just going to kind of use that as a main theme for this particular one. It looks pretty cool, personally. As far as the colors go, let's do something... Um, like this that looks awesome to be honest again this is one of the colors that is actually unlocked um through finding it in the game so we're just gonna make the whole thing blue royal regalia i think that looks absolutely amazing and <laughs> the face oh, gives me every time so that is all the options you can do for character creation i mean there's now it's kind of getting into the more of the stats. So you have Village Idiot, which gives you um, plus eight to your strength and minus three to your intelligence. Raised by Elves gives you plus two to dexterity and minus four to constitution. Failed Monk gives you minus four to strength, uh, plus two to dexterity. Or sorry, minus two to dexterity. Sorry about that. Uh, plus two to intelligence and plus four to wisdom. The Recovering Inventory Hoarder gives you minus two to dexterity plus two to intelligence, uh, minus two to constitution, and plus five to attunement. 
And then we have Rogue, uh, Rogue Alchemist, which is going to give you minus two to dexterity, plus eight to wisdom, and minus five to constitution. This is all based off of whatever type of build you want to do. This is not something that you can actually change later on. Um, once you choose this background, that's what you're stuck with. So if you're doing a build, um, kind of look at what you want to do. If you're sticking with like a uh, like a Graveborn, like this one is, or a uh, Spell Shot, you may want to do Failed Monk or Recovering Inventory Hoarder because you're going to get that Spell Cooldown bonus. If you're doing something like uh, Stabomancer, maybe you want to do Raised by Elves or Village Idiot to get those critical hit bonuses. It just kind of depends on however you want to build it. Um, this particular one, I'm going to go with Failed Monk for this one. And then here you go, you get 10 points in your hero stats you can choose from. Um, this one, since this is going to be a Graveborn, I'm going to be using a lot of uh, spells. It also kind of gives you a little um, stat thing here, too. So, like, Strength, for example, is best used for Clawbringers, Berserkers, and Stabomancers. Dexterity is for Stabomancer, Spell Shots, and Spore Wardens. Intelligence is for Spell Shot and Graveborn. Wisdom is for Stabomancer and Graveborn. Constitution is for Berserker, Clawbringer, and Graveborn. And Attunement is for Spore Warden and Berserker. So, I am going to increase my intelligence to get that spell casting. That's the thing I want the most, so I'm going to increase this as high as it can go to give me that spell cooldown rate. And for the name, let's, you can name your character whatever you want. Um, I'm going to name this one uh, Josephine, because why not? There we go. Josephine is, is her name. <laughs> and then right here, before you actually start, you can go through and, and look through all the stats. It kind of tells you everything here. So you can go back and change anything at this point, but once you hit continue, you will not be able to. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Wonderlands content, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also check out some of my other videos like the one YouTube recommends right over there. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the support links in the description below. Thanks for watching.